Ever heard of the Great Gold Robbery of 1855? It took place on the 11th of May of that year, and appears to be every bit the epic caper as covered in the 1979 Michael Crichton film The Great Train Robbery. Perhaps, in the annals of crime, no more romantic circumstances ever occurred than in the case of the Great Bullion Robbery on the Southeastern Railway. The heist involved the theft of a consignment of gold bullion being conveyed between London and Paris under heavy lock and key on behalf of three companies. It was only when the strong boxes were opened in Paris that it was discovered that most of the bounty had been switched with lead shot. The French police blamed the English and vice versa in a classic French-British passing the buck episode. It eventually emerged that the deed was done on the London Bridge station to Folkestone Lake on the Southeastern Railway, by four men who were at the center of a wider network of accomplices essential to breaking security in a long and meticulously planned operation. They were William Pierce, an ex-railway employee, who originated the idea George Eger, an experienced and worldly criminal who masterminded the operation, pulling together all the strands essential to mount a viable project George Tester, the railway clerk who enabled the gang to make duplicate keys of the Chubb safe aboard the train of course, they would need another vital man on the inside, this was the train's guard, a man called Burgess. Burgess had to make sure all the gang's essential accoutrements were loaded in the guard's van and to allow the men access to do their work. The whole operation went nicely to plan, the perpetrators returning to London from Dover the following day with their ill-gotten haul. However, the whole thing unraveled the following year, only because a Gar's girlfriend, possibly ex-girlfriend, one Fanny Kay, who was recruited to act as a receiver failed to get a payment from Pierce, and blew the whistle to the governor of Newgate Prison. Railways in the Southeast in 1840, just a few years before the robbery. By the time of the trial, Ager had already been convicted to transportation for life from a completely separate incident, that of passing a false check involving the notorious bent barrister James Sard, a.k.a. Jim the Penman. Pierce, Tester and Burgess were sentenced to 14 years transportation. This is the barest outline of the story. There is more on Wikipedia here, the entry of which appears to be based on a much fuller near-contemporary account that you can read here. This article originally appeared on London Historians. You can become a London Historians member here. Last updated the 5th of February 2018.